everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel So Little Time and my name is Karen. So I hope you're all doing really well. I thought I would quickly come on for this video because I'm currently um, in the middle of doing a sewing project and I'm making the Colette Peony pattern and this is it here um, and I've just constructed the bodice. Now this is a lovely fitted bodice, it's got bust darts and waist darts and a really nice style skirt, sort of A-line skirt. And I have made this pattern before, and there are darts also on the back bodice as well for the neckline and for the bottom of the base of the bodice itself. Um, and I've just literally constructed the um, bodice pieces. Now this isn't a lined bodice, and I have decided to line mine. So I thought whilst I'm here, I'll show you how to line a bodice, which has a zip, because um, it's quite a nice construction in the way that it's put together. So I've literally done this and I just thought, oh, whilst I'm here, I'll show you. So I'll just show you the lining itself. So here is my lining and I've got it literally sewn at the shoulder seams. So you do that for the lining. So you have the front bodice piece and the two back bodice pieces and you sew them at the shoulder seams and then trim your seam allowances and press them open. So all my darts are also done as well. So there's one at the top back and the bottom, and then on the front, you've got the bust dart um, and then the waist dart as well. So I've done that for the lining and I've also done it for my outer as well in exactly the same way. So you literally just piece together your back pieces and your front pieces. Um, and then, you know, I've literally just pinked my um, seam allowances and I've pressed them open. So I'm not even going to finish them with an overlocker, partly because my overlocker's playing up at the minute. Um, but yeah, you're not gonna see those raw edges because they will be all enclosed. So I'm gonna angle the camera down just so you can see how I put this bodice together. Right, so hopefully you can see this okay. I've got the bodice literally laid out in front of me, right sides up. So there's my two back bodice pieces and my front, back bod uh, front bodice piece there. So this is the neckline here. And what we want to do is to take the outer fabric and you're going to place it right sides together on the actual lining fabric itself. So I'm going to be putting my back pieces over here and then I'm going to line up the neckline all the way around. So there's my front bodice here and then this is my other back bodice piece. So I'm literally going to line up the neckline, that's right sides together, and I'm going to pin all the way around that neckline first. Right, so that's my neckline all pinned. So I've literally just pinned round the neckline itself and I'm gonna sew that together literally from one edge all the way around to the other using the seam allowance that's included in the pattern, which for me is 1.5 centimeters or 5 eighths of an inch. And um, so I'm just gonna do that. And what I've made sure is that I've lined up all of the darts together. I've lined up the um, shoulder seams and then I've done that on the other side as well. So just to make sure that it is all lined up accurately. So I'll go ahead and sew that and then come back to you. All right, so that's all sewn. And also what I've done is around where there are curved edges, I've just put some little triangle uh, snips in there, as you can see. And that's just to ensure that when I, we turn this the right way round, that the seam will lay really nice and flat. Now I haven't actually trimmed my seam allowance, um, but you can do that if you wanted to, but I've just not done that for mine. Also what I'm going to do now is just to make sure that this neckline is going to lay really nice and flat is to actually understitch it. So to do that, what you'll need to do is to separate your outer and the lining and ensure that your seam allowance is laying against the lining. And you're going to be sewing then with the right side up, literally very close to this edge here, just so it stops then that um, lining fabric rolling out on the neckline. So literally you're going to be sewing just along here so the seam allowance is against the lining fabric. So you're gonna feed that through your machine and sew, I don't know, maybe about an eighth or so away from that edge there. So I'll go ahead and do that and then come back. Right, so I've understitched that, so I'll just come up and show you. So you can see I've literally stitched across this here and that's got the seam allowance laying flat against the lining fabric. So when it is turned out the right way, it just lays really nice and flat once you've pressed it and it doesn't then have any tendency to roll out towards the outside. So it just brings that fabric round a little bit on the um, neckline. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna turn it back so they are um, right sides together 
and we are going to just line up all the fabric together right sides together and then you're going to make sure that the armholes are all together so this is the next bit that we're going to pin is the armhole sections so if i turn it around so you can see it a bit better so we've got the back bodices right sides together there and then the front bodice here and then we're going to do one armhole and then we'll go over and do the other side so i will literally get this section here lined up and pinned around the armhole so again make sure that your shoulder seam is um, matching for both the lining and the outer fabric okay so i've got both armholes pinned then so there's one and then the other one is on the other side obviously um, and i pinned that as well so again i'm going to just stitch from one end to the other using the seam allowance for you for the pattern so for me it's 1.5 centimeters so i'm going to go ahead and stitch that and then i will also clip in triangles to um, you know, spread the seam allowance out. And then I will also try and understitch where possible. Um, it might be a little bit tricky on the armhole. We'll see when I get to that bit. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'll be back in a moment. All right, so that's the armholes stitched and clipped. So I've clipped into the curve and then stitched all the way around to the other side of the armhole. And again, clip that curve there. I haven't clipped along this bit here because it's a straight, um, seam there so i don't feel that it needs clipping into because i don't think the fabric needs to spread um, now i'm going to try and under stitch this um, so to do that you're going to have to separate your lining and outer fabric but you'll see that obviously because it's connected at the le at the neckline you don't have you're not going to be able to get all the way through this um seam to this seam here because obviously this is all joined up so you just need to flip the lining out as much as possible um, so I'll show you right sides out literally pull it as much as you can so you've got the seam allowance against the back you know the lining piece there and try and sew your under stitching along there as far as you can you're not going to be able to get all the way in but whatever bit you can do will really help with let, making that seam line lay really flat and just stop that lining from rolling out when, from under your sort of armpit area. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll show you. Right, okay, so I've opened it out and I have literally understitched as close as I can, you know, without it being too close to the edge. And I've gone sort of into the armhole section as far as I can go. Um, and then when I got to the point where I couldn't go any further, Try and see if I can find it now. Um, I just did a locking stitch just to secure the thread in place, really. So that's all done. So all of the armholes are stitched and so is the neckline. So now it's the magic part to turn it right side out. So what you want to do is to go into the back bodice and you're going to pull, sorry, you're gonna go into the front bodice, shall I say. <laughs> So you go into the front bodice, so you put your hand sort of inside one shoulder seam, and what you want to do is to grab the back bodice and pull it through the shoulder seam. So it will be a little bit fiddly. Um, it's, it depends sort of how big your, um, I suppose, shoulders are, but mine are quite small, so it will just take me a little bit of time to sort of feed that through. So you're gonna um, literally get your hand in, I suppose, and grab the fabric to, from the other side and start pulling that through. Um, let me see if I can do it the other way. So get into the armhole so you can see, and I'm gonna push my fabric through there, I think, and grab it from the other side. So I've pushed a bit of the lining, the, sorry, the back panel through, and I'm gonna pull it through. So I'm pulling it through. You put your, this would be really hard to see, but I am actually pulling the, um, fabric through the armhole, do you see there? So I'm literally gonna pull that through. Just to try not to tug it too hard so that you don't rip rip your fabric, but you will see that it will emerge eventually. Um, and also bring the lining through as well. So there we are, I've turned that one through, as you can see. So what you'll see is that once you've pulled that through, it just leaves you with a really neat sort of shoulder seam where you've got all of the um, raw edges are concealed. So I'll pull through the other side again, just so you can see that a bit better. So let's go to the other side. So we need to go from the front bodice, 
Let me see where I am. Hold on. <laughs> uh, where are we? Where's my front bodice piece? Right, so that's that one. It's the other side. So, uh, getting myself in the right pickle here. Okay. So, go again into the front bodice and you want to pull through um, the back. So, you have to go into the shoulder seam there. So, I'm again just going to literally poke through, take my lining fabric and fold it under and put it through that armhole. Sorry, the shoulder seam, should I say? So, we're going to pull that through. Oh, get in. So, there's my armhole, uh, shoulder, should I say. So I'm going to take a bit of this lining fabric, push that into it, and then I'm going to grab it from the other side. So that's now actually inside, and I'm going to go this side and pull it. So let me just find it. Where are you? I don't think I've pushed it through enough, have I? No, I've not pushed it through enough. Let's push it through a bit more. There we are. There we are. I can grab it now. So I'll start pulling that through. See? I'll just pull that through. Just do it gently. It will come. Just have to do it bit by bit. This one's just been a little bit more stubborn. Come on. There we are. It's coming. <laughs> There we are. So that's the lining through. So I'm just going to pull the rest, there we are, of the outer fabric through. So that is now all the right way out. So there's the front bodice and then the back bodice there. So now it will just need to have a really good press all the way around the armhole. But you can see all the raw edges are nicely enclosed there. So what I'll do is I'll go and give that a really nice press and then come back to you just so you can see it. Right, so that's all nice and pressed then. As you can see, I've got a really nice crisp neckline there. And if I just turn that round, you'll see how the understitching plays its part. So it just sort of rolls around the outer fabric a little bit. Um, and you can see my understitching there. It just keeps that lining from creeping out. So it's a really nice technique to do. So don't miss it out really. It's a really good one to do. Um, and then you'll see that that's really nice all the way around to the back neckline and then the armholes as well. So everything is all concealed. All the raw edges are hidden, which is really nice. And again, the understitching plays its part on the armhole where I've managed to get as far as I could. So I'm really pleased with how that bodice is looking. So this isn't a lined bodice. If you didn't want to line a bodice, you could alternatively use um, bias binding for the neckline and the armholes to you know, avoid doing a lining. But I just think it gives a really nice clean finish as it also hides all of the raw sort of seam lines from the darts and things like that as well. Um, so now you'll notice that we do have a raw edge down the back bodice where the zip will go and also where the side seams need to be joined. So the next bit I'm going to do is actually to join the side seams um, so that the, you know, there's no raw edges there. So I'll just tilt the camera down again so you can see what I'm doing. Right, so we've got our bodice here. What we need to do is to actually take the outer fabric outwards. Um, so you're basically opening it out and then that's on the back on the back bodice pieces. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I'm kind of opening out the, the bodice. Um, and then what I'm going to do is lay the raw edges of the lining together, um, if that makes sense, just for the side seams. So here we are. I've literally opened out, opened out. That's the back bodice, yeah? And then this is the front bodice and I'm opening out that lining. So you need to do it. So where all the armhole is obviously attached, you're going to match up right sides together, lining to lining, and then outer to outer. So it's like this. So that's the outer bit and that's the inner bit as such. So you need to match up here where you've got the outer pieces. You need to make sure that that is accurately aligned. So I'll do that first and then I will pop a pin in there um, just to make sure that those don't move. So that's lined up there. And then you just need to literally line up the 
the bodice pieces together, so the outer to the outer, right sides together, and lining to lining. And that's literally on the side seams. So you don't wanna be doing it on the center back seams, it's literally just on the side seams. So I'll just pin this one, and then I'll show you again on the other side, just so it's clear. Right, so that's that one pinned all the way along there. You wanna make sure your seam allowances are going in the same direction on both sides. Okay, and then for the other side then, again, we're doing it across the side seam. So if you have your bodices, so they're literally, so that's your bodice there, there's your back bodice and there's your front bodice. So what we're gonna do is literally pull the front bodice up, the back bodice up like that at the back. So again, right sides together for the outer and then you'll have the lining together. Do you see? So that is literally the side seams. And then the centre back seams are here. So I hope that was a little bit clearer on showing you how I've put those together. So again, lining up the outer to outer there and the inner to inner and just matching that seam line there. So that's uh, accurate and then pin that into place. And then you can literally pin down the rest of the lining and the outer there ensuring those seam allowances are going the same way as I said before. Right, so you'll see that that's also pinned as well. So what I'm going to do now is sew that on my sewing machine um, with the uh, one and a half centimeter seam allowance as per my um, pattern instructions. So I'm gonna do it, so I'm gonna do the outer together first because I'm gonna follow the seam line um, where the seam allowances are folded over the right way. So I make sure that I go over that and they don't turn out any other way and distort that seam anyway. So I'll go ahead and sew that and come back. All right, so that's the seams sewn. So what I will do with this one actually is just trim my seam allowances down and I will use my pinking shears for that. So I'm literally just gonna go down the seam allowance and just cut off half of it just so it is a neater finish. And then what I'll do is take that over to the iron and just press those seam allowances open, just so then this, that seam will lay a lot flatter. So I've got to pink the other side um, and then I'll come back to you once I've pressed that open. All right, so I have pressed those seams open. So that's all done. And then I'm literally just going to um, put the it back to its normal state, really, you know, where it's right sides, uh, wrong sides together. So you, now you'll see that you can actually just give that a final press around the armhole section here. So this is the side seams. So they're all joined up and then you can see on the inside of the bodice, it is all the, you know, all the raw edges are completely concealed. So that is the lined bodice completely finished. Now, obviously I'm gonna be attaching this to a skirt and then I will be inserting an invisible zip into the back of this dress. So what I'm actually going to do um, is do a separate video on how to finish the bodice. Um, where I'll be inserting the invisible zip with the skirt attached. So I will film myself actually attaching the skirt to this bodice and then inserting the zip. So this has sort of been the part one of this dress, I suppose, in a way. I mean, I haven't done a full tutorial on how to do this dress because if you're not making this dress, then you're not gonna be interested in it. But this is essentially how you line a bodice which isn't already lined in a pattern if you wanted to add a lining. So I hope you found that useful and found it fairly clear. I have tried to show you as easily as I could with the space that I've got. So I hope you found that useful um, and you'll be able to go ahead and sew your own lining in a bodice. Now, if you wanted to do a lining where it doesn't have zip, um, this, that would be an all-in-one lining where you would have to do the burrito method. I do have a tutorial on how I did that, um, which is actually on my Carnaby dress sew along. Uh, which was a few years ago now, so you will have to go back through my videos to find that. In actual fact, I'll just link a card up above, just in case you wanted to see how to line a bodice um, without a zip in the back, so it's basically all enclosed, all in one. Um, that was for the dress, but you can do that on a bodice as well. Um, but yeah, this one includes the zip, so it is slightly easier because you can just pull the lining in everything through the shoulder seam. So yeah, I do hope that you found that useful. Um, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you 
we'll perhaps use this um, on a future make, but I'm really excited to get this project finished now. It's one of those work in progresses that has been in my pile for quite a while. Anyway, take care everybody and I'll see you again soon. Bye.